Prima Media's Engineering News speaks to Zestweg Group CEO Louis Marin about the company's new empowerment initiative. Can you tell me more about this new empowerment initiative that's making news? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Mia, it's, uh, it's uh, quite an achievement for us. Uh, we're very pleased to, to make this announcement. Um, it's been long coming. It's been quite a challenge for us. Um, but uh, we completed this, uh, this whole new initiative uh, during the month of August. And uh, going to market with the announcement is, is really a wonderful achievement in terms of uh, um, the, the hard work of what we've done to get back to achieving a level two in terms of uh, our BE status. Previously, we were at a level four in terms of our BE status, but when government introduced the new codes of practice, um, we unfortunately fell back to a level eight and uh, we realized that we needed to go back to the drawing board and, and seeing what needs to be done to regain our credentials in terms of the RBE requirements. And uh, it's been a tough road, but uh, it's been really great that we've now reached this point in terms of uh, getting to a level two. And um, the initiative that we followed was really something that uh, is, is core to our business. We made a strategic decision many years back already that when we do enter into a BE, uh, transaction like we've done now, we want to do it in a very sustainable way. And uh, the first step that we made some years back already was when we introduced our um, uh, employee trust. And again, you know, there it was a key decision that we wanted to give benefits to the people that are really involved in the business. Uh, this time around, uh, we decided to again continue with the same philosophy and identified uh, two uh, NPOs and uh, the decision was that we wanted to make them part of the business and of course our, our key objective was to see what strategy we needed to follow to reach the 50 in excess of 51 percent black owned and of course in excess of 30 percent uh, black woman owned. Now that in essence is, is, is quite a challenge um, but I'm very pleased that uh, we managed to achieve that and in fact, uh, we set out to, to get to a level three was one of our key objectives, but uh, really digging deep in, in terms of looking all at all the elements of the scorecard, um, we achieved the level two. And for that, I'm, I'm very pleased that we managed to get that done. And credit to our executive team, the guys worked really hard in terms of achieving this. We, um, we went to our main board as uh, early part of this year to present to them what we think is, uh, is the best way to go and uh, what steps we needed to take and uh, I'm very pleased that the, the board accepted our, our proposal and um, we've been working profusely for the last uh, couple of months to actually implement and we've now managed to do that and got audited by a verification agency during the course of, of August and um, we achieved this, uh, this level two status and uh, as I said it's, uh, it's a really wonderful uh, uh, opportunity for us because as in the past We've uh, encountered quite a number of gatekeepers in terms of uh, getting business and we see this as a wonderful opportunity where a lot of those uh, uh, obstacles are essentially now removed and we can participate in sectors of business that uh, perhaps previously we would uh, have been excluded and um, we now can participate in that sector. What do you think this means for the South African industry as well? Well, you know, I think um, the, the reality is that, you know, many people think it's almost impossible to, to, to get to, to reach the, the goals in terms of the BE requirements. Um, I don't believe it is because uh, I think if you really study the, the, uh, the opportunities very carefully, there are ways of, of, of getting it done um, as we've proven it. And um, I think for industry, it is really, you know, take looking internally and uh, understanding very carefully what the best options uh, that's available, consider them and make a decision. You know, it's a very conscious decision to, to make, to decide that we are gonna go uh, in that direction and, um, you know, be sure that you do it in the right way and in a very sustainable way. And I think for industry, it is uh, primarily, I suppose, to make the conscious decision in taking the step and getting it done. Thank you very much for talking to us, Lee. Thank you very much. That was Zaysweg Group CEO Louis Marin speaking to us about the group's new empowerment initiative.